Bonjour, and welcome to the Potty Pose series, visiting perched villages in the south of France, which includes the areas of Provence and Côte d'Azur. France is known for its medieval fortified hilltop villages, and Provence and Côte d'Azur have many remarkable and charming of such villages. Today we're visiting the medieval village of Payon in the Alps Maritime. Payon is a rather unique village in that it has no commercialization and there are no tourists here. It's just a wonderfully quiet, well-preserved medieval village. Driving to Payon is part of the experience, and we've been making our way there slowly but surely. Uh, very narrow roads, vertical drop-offs, and you pray you don't have to pass anyone. Today we did, several people. It was really unnerving, um, but we're okay. Definitely a perched village on a rocky spur, about 1,300 feet in elevation. But it seems a lot higher because the village just kind of sits there by itself and looks like it's suspended. Let's continue. I'm outside the fortified walls of the little perched village of Payon in the Alps Maritime. Payon is a tiny, isolated perched village, very isolated, <laughs> surrounded by valleys and mountains covered with forest. It's very medieval and very fortified. The village is a fascinating maze of arches, vaulted archways and tunnels, stairways, terraces, with really stunning views in every direction. Gives you an idea of what life was like here 500 years ago. Payon is a walking-only village. There's no tourist noise or commercialism. In other words, it's an absolutely peaceful, well-maintained medieval village. Other than a few restaurants and hotels outside the entrance to the village, there are no shops or cafes. About 100 permanent residents live in Payon. Stairways to everywhere. More archways beyond. Somebody's door <laughs> steps to their house. Mm -hmm. 
Well, there's a place for sale if you want to get away from it all. Imagine what it was like wandering around Payan at night with a candle or lantern to light your way. Spooky, but a great place for a murder mystery. There's another place for sale. Does that make 98 residents instead of 100? We've seen two places for sale. Climbing the narrow streets and staircases to the top of Payan brings you to this 18th century Church of the Transfiguration, which was built on the site of part of the castle. The square in front of the church is a really nice place to catch your breath and just enjoy the surrounding vistas. Was that an amen? <laughs> I keep expecting to stumble across an alchemist laboratory. Black cats, bats wings, snake venom, the dark arts. These steps are not even at all. Some are really big and some of them are baby steps. I'm sure there's a map of this town somewhere that because I would just be lost all the time.
As always, thanks for joining me on my wander through Payon, which is featured on my new app Potty Poche. Potty Poche is a fantastic little travel guide for must-see destinations in the Languedoc, Roussillon, and Provence, which uniquely includes GPS locations, descriptions, and ratings of all the public toilets in the locations visited on the app. Written in five languages, it's an app for people on the go, like yourselves, who have to go. So if you're out and about in the south of France, take Potty Poche with you. Available on Apple and Google. And I leave you with this. The marrow of life is not your usual trek. <music>